Hello YouTube, this is Praying Sunny E, making a new video for today. I am at the hospital, um, Cape Fear Valley, and I'm supposed to be getting a heart scan today. So I'm walking down the hallway on my way to getting my heart scan done. But I haven't made a video in a while, so I want to let you guys know what happened after surgery. So after my surgery, for that first week, I was pretty much um, out of it. I wasn't awake very much because I was on a lot of pain medication and um, it hurt a lot, a lot of pain. Um, they took out the lump, I had a lump that to me and they also removed nine of my lymph nodes because one of them did test positive for cancer so they took out some additional ones to check and see but that was the only one. And then on the other side, they had put in a port, which I guys showed you in my bandage. This is what it looks like now. Just a scar right there. But it's an actual device right there that you can kind of see. If I was in some better lighting, you'd probably see. And so today what I have to do is get a heart scan done. I already had a follow-up with my surgery and I had a follow-up with my oncologist. Today, I'm going to be going to get my heart scan done and then tomorrow I'm going to see my oncologist um, nurse and she's going to explain to me what's going to go on after that. Excuse me if I keep looking crazy. I want to make sure I'm going the right way. So I will come back as soon as I get to where I'm supposed to go in the hospital. Alright guys so I finally found where admitting was because I'm slow and I didn't follow directions I guess. And I went right by it, didn't see it. So, finally made it. I have to wait a little bit. So, as I said, I want to take this time to kind of fill you guys in on what's been going on since surgery and how I've been feeling since surgery. Um, that first week was really hard. Like I said, a lot of pain. Couldn't really sleep, couldn't get comfortable. Didn't really eat a lot. I slept a lot. Um, drugs that they gave me made me very sleepy. I slept a lot. Like, I don't think there was any time in that week where I was, like, up for more than two hours at a time, and I fall back asleep. Um, after that, um, it was better. Pain subsided significantly. Um, I had soreness, though, the, especially in the site where they put my um, power port. It's very, very sore, and that's something I brought up to my doctors to let them know. It's sore, and it hurts. Well, it's not hurting, but it's just soon. And so, I need to fix that. Also, um, couldn't drive for a while, so I couldn't go to a lot of places I wanted to go without somebody having to take me. So I missed a lot of things that way. Um, what else to do? But right now, I feel fine. I can drive. I'm just kind I think I'm more nervous about what's going to happen when I have to start doing chemotherapy because it takes such a toll on you. So, we're going to see. So I'm not going to take up this video and make it too long, so I'm going to wait till I get ready for my heart scan. I'll be back. All right. All right, YouTube. I have officially checked in and admitted myself to the hospital. I just talked to one of the administrators here. The test that I'm going to have today is called a MUGA scan. It's M-U-G-A scan. And the time for that is approximately two hours. So I already have to two hours. So I got here. Well, it was supposed to be here at 10. I got here a little later than that. Um, finally got to this section about 10.30, 10.45 or so. And then I probably won't be leaving until almost 1. So I said, it's going to be a pretty long process. Because I have to go in, come back out, go in. And so, hopefully I'll be able to show you guys all that on this video. If not, I'll probably do a part two to this. Okay? Because I don't like my videos to be long. All right. 